Good morning students, welcome again in the virtual class of social science and in this chapter if you believe you can you will. I told you many stories of different people, famous personalities of uh, uh, poor boys, Shuku and I told you that you will heard one more story and this is the story of famous person you can see on the screen that is food king catering service owner and the name is Sharath Babu ok. Yesterday I told you that there are many poor children they do not go to school they do not get chance to go to school but in our country many parents they do not give hope, May, many poor parents they do not give hope and they uh, work hard to give education to their children and children work hard to make their parents feel proud. One example I told you Abdul Kalam, his father was also poor boatman and this story is of Sharath Babu. You can see in the picture Sharath Babu and his mother ok. Sharath Babu's mother earned only rupees 500 per day per month sorry. Sharath Babu's mother earned only rupees 500 per month. She made idlis to earn some extra money to educate her five children. Means Sharath Babu's mother has five children and only rupees 500 per per month was salary, but she made idlis to earn some extra money and Sharat Babu sold idlis in the street of Chennai. Like you have sometimes hawker in your street and samosa wala jaise wo bolte hain samosa le lo like this. Sharath Babu sold idlis in the streets of Chennai. His mother had to face many difficulties. She had to get water before sunrise from a far away water tap. It means Sharath Babu had no water tap in his house and his mother had to get up early in the morning to bring water from far away water tap. One of her son died when he was in class 12th, so sad. The second son dropped out of school means he left study and he denied study. The second son dropped out of school after class 10. But he did, she did not give up hope. Who? Sharad Babu's mother did not give up hope or hard work. Sharad Babu started binding books when he was in class 10 to earn money. There was no alarm clock to wake me up to study. Sharad Babu says, there was no alarm clock in my house so I can get and I can I could study. So it used to be so cold in middle of the night that I would just get up. In middle of night when it was cold he used to get up for study. And other part of the story we will listen 
you will listen tomorrow